Okay, we've got some big policy decisions to make today. Can't wait. Hey, um, who's the new guy? Hi, I'm Jared. I've just been hired to serve alongside you guys in a top spot on the president's staff. This is a weird spot for a meeting. Welcome. Good to meet you. Now let's get to the decisions. First up is... Um, Shouldn't President Biden be in on this meeting where policy decisions are being made that will affect the lives of 350 million Americans? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to go ahead and run this meeting without him. Ah, it'll be so hard without his leadership, but let's just see if we can do it without him. <laughs> All Democrats are way down in the polls. And with midterms coming up, we are gonna get annihilated if we don't do something dramatic. And now with Musk buying Twitter, we're losing our powerful way of silencing the competition. What are we gonna do? We could do a much better job of listening to what the American people don't like about what we're doing and hear what they want and then make policy adjustments based on that. I've got a better idea. Why don't we form a ministry of truth? Say more. Yeah, that way we can have a regulatory body that prevents the other side from speaking their opposing points of view that the American people genuinely like better. So we outlaw any speech that hurts our party's agenda and control of power? Exactly. I like it. Um, I think that violates freedom of speech. <laughs> What? Yeah, based on the Constitution, the government can't infringe on people's right to freedom of speech, even if those in positions of power doing the governing don't like what's being said. Oh, who's a Trump supporter over there? Yeah, look at Jared with his Constitution getting ready for a Trump rally. No, it's not. It's got nothing to do with supporting Trump. Like, I don't. I voted for Biden. It's just supporting freedom of speech. Look, if you're trying to incite violence, do it on your own time. We have no time for fascism in these meetings. You are either with us or you're racist. And you're not racist. Are you, Jared? Well, no. Great! Glad you concur that we need a ministry of truth. But we can't just call it that because what we're doing would be really obvious. So what should we call it? Well, according to the principle of doublespeak, we should call it the opposite of what it is in order to prevent people from seeing what it really is. How about the Disinformation Governance Board? I love it. That's still really obvious. No, nope. people will never figure it out. Yeah, when governing, we find it's best to assume people are way dumber than we think they are. Put it into action. The Disinformation Governance Board. Taking away Americans' right to freedom of speech. That's not okay. And that's certainly not the right way to win elections. You're right. We need to do more to win the elections. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Dominion? Exactly. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. Just Putin's a bad guy, you know? He's the worst. No, I think you're talking about- Moving along. We need to put an end to racism. What policies are gonna help us do that? Why don't we make everything about race? That's a great idea. That's not gonna help. It's just gonna divide people. Next. We've got a major problem. The dollar is being devalued faster than ever, making it hard for the average American to feed their family. How are we gonna stop inflation? We could just print more money. Say more about that. That was it. I mean, yes. No, money doesn't just grow on trees. You can't just print more money. You're right. Money doesn't just grow on trees. It's much easier than that. It's just ones and zeros on a computer. You don't actually have to print anything. We should print a lot of it then. No, absolutely not. That'll destroy our economy. Look, Jared, you clearly don't understand. So try to follow along with me here. Americans have a problem because their money is being devalued. You with me so far? Yeah. So the cost of goods is escalating due to inflation, which means their money doesn't go as far. Right. So we're gonna print more money and give it to people so they'll have more money to buy things with. And we're doing this to defeat inflation. That's literally what causes inflation. Sounds like what a racist would say. So I think we're gonna need to go ahead and print the money. Okay, Jared? Uh, God help us. Should we outlaw God? It says here that's in the next phase, so we'll get to it next year. Can't wait. Moving along. Now, crime rates are skyrocketing. 
So how do we feel about murder and having such stiff criminal penalties on it? I'm glad you brought it up. Is murder still a felony? Yeah. Well, I think there should be much softer penalties, like maybe a fine and some community service instead of prison. And maybe instead of calling it a felony, we could just call it an infraction. No! People who kill should be in prison! That's where they belong because they're murderers. You mean people who identify as one who takes the life of another person? They're very oppressed. You're crazy. We're trying to reduce crime rates and you're basically talking about legalizing murder? Crime rates would go through the roof. That's where you're wrong. Killings might go up. But if murder is no longer a crime, then it's actually a really effective way to reduce the crime rate. Plus, our research shows that 100% of all people are racist, except us. So if killings go up, it'll be an effective way of having less racists in the world. No! This is the worst idea I've ever heard. Society will decay and people won't be safe. If we reduce the crime rate, what's the polling say about the midterms? People will love it. Polling for us goes up dramatically. Sounds like people will be plenty safe. No, this is just wrong. What's the matter with you? You're not acting like a liberal at all. I thought you were one of us. I am a liberal and I have very liberal values. Well, we're liberals. Why aren't you agreeing with any of our liberal policies? These aren't liberal policies and you're not liberals. You're authoritarians. You're just shamelessly hiding behind an otherwise respectable political label, liberal, in order to hide your horrible political position. You're authoritarians trying to usher in authoritarian policies. Where were you on January 6th? What? January 6th, 2021. Where were you? I was at home with my wife and kids. Sounds like you were at the Capitol building. Not supposed to be there, Jared. No, I was at home in New York. Uh, I've got proof. I posted a live video to Facebook that day. It's still on my page. I don't think the Disinformation Governance Board is gonna see it that way. What? Yeah, I have a hunch they'll see your alibi video as disinformation. I wasn't there, that's not true. They decide what's true, not you. And disinformation's not okay, Jared. And storming the Capitol is definitely not okay, Jared. I mean, unless the FBI sees it differently, but. We'll check with them. Maybe you could just calm down and quit raising a ruckus with every democracy saving policy we decide on. Do you want to be liberal Jared or insurrectionist Jared? Okay, I'll be liberal Jared. Great. <laughs> now doesn't it just feel better when we're all on the same team? Much better. Okay, next decision. This is a really important one. The conflict with Russia. Now we can certainly come out guns a blazing and start dropping nuclear bombs all throughout the region right off the bat. But starting a nuclear war is not something we can take lightly. It's a decision that takes tremendous responsibility. So before we push the button or not, we need to consult with an expert. But who's the expert we should entrust in helping us make this monumental decision? Jared, what do you think? Well, I think Clearly, it should be a military leader and a nuclear scientist who can give us a loss of life impact assessment. Uh, no, 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 no. This is an opportunity to improve diversity. Do we have any trans Asian women who are black that we can consult with to determine if we should go to nuclear war? Yes, but. But what? She just got out of the hospital. For what? She suffers from emotional instability and just had a mental breakdown. What's her job experience? Throughout the pandemic, he sat she, back. She, pardon me. She sat back and received stimulus checks throughout the whole pandemic. Well, she's also brought a lawsuit against Nike for making shoes that don't fit on hands. Does she have any education or? <clears throat> She graduated with a degree in gender studies. Clearly the most qualified person. Get a hold of her and ask her if we should go to nuclear war with Russia. You're gonna do this just to create a diversity inclusion headline? I didn't even think of that. Good point, Jared. Make sure we get photos of you asking her and send them straight off to the New York Times. I can just imagine the front page headline. Nuclear war? Biden administration hires the first trans Asian woman who is black to decide. That's gonna help us so much in the polls. If she says do it, um, any downside you can think of? No, it's just all white people in Russia, so no downside, only upside. I hope she says we should do it. Yeah, 
Um, I, I think we should just be careful that we don't accidentally destroy our country. There's nothing accidental about what we're doing here.